Good, eh? <laughs> Bit early. Weren't really gonna be making a vlog this early, but. <laughs> Oh man, these guys, I mean, someone is really lucky. Just want to show you <laughs> what happens. This crash bar has done the job, man, of saving whosoever's lives. We're in there, man. Wow. Oh, the rescue team just turned up in this there's three guys I think <laughs> but look at the strength of this right all concrete and steel and the ropes and it's pulled it the force of it going in there it's pulled that out man that's incredible for me to see <laughs> But no one was hurt. Let's see if I can help. It's a driver there. Can I help? Can I help? Oh man, they're trying to lift it up and push it over. Let's see if I can give them a little bit of a hand somehow. <laughs> Hang on. He got it. I did. <laughs> He's back on the road. From down there, cool. He should be able to sort it out. Whew. That was heavy to lift. You okay? You all okay? Guys, have a good day. He's gonna tow that out. <laughs> oh man. Early morning, start to the vlog. Abandoned. <laughs> Man, on the very first day I arrived in Phuket, on my first outing, I saw this abandoned building. Oh man. Which? Oh man, it's probably someone. <laughs> That's what he can. <laughs> The young lady living there. Man in the house, what do you care about her? There's a guy in there. Up there. Up warm. I made it at home. Wow. <laughs> right away across from where I like to see the best man about the best dog in Phuket. <laughs> Right then, now he's not going to reverse and get that out. Good luck to him, man. It's like must have, something big must have been coming around here or he got shoved in there somehow. Crazy tight line, crazy start to the day. <laughs> and welcome to today's vlog <laughs> you must know where I am right look right there right here oh man and all the green netting is down from the factory back there <sighs> you know where I am I am I come home <laughs> This morning. So today's vlog, I'm not sure what today's vlog is going to be. I was going to make a vlog explaining how you can live in Kamala, in Phuket, for less than a grand, a Gino, US dollars or British pounds sterling. Kind of similar, right? For a month. Or, oh man. I've told you how cheap Camel R Puket is, but today, this room, next, 
to where I used to live, came available for just 500 baht a day. If you want to rent it on a monthly basis, you can. When I move out, which may be a week, maybe two, I've decided to stay in Phuket as um, well, I'm trying to sort my other YouTube channels out. I'm trying to do quite a lot of things while I have the time, the internet, and the really cool space where I haven't got to go out busting a gut, getting food poison, having to put up with any rubbish and all the rest of the stuff that I have to put up with when I go off trying to search for YouTube vlogs. So whilst I'm back here in Phuket, I'm just going to really make the most of it and have good quality living as I do every day. It doesn't matter how many times I tell you guys, <laughs> most of you know, quite a lot of you actually come and experience it and, um, and it's been really good meeting people every day telling me how good it is here and thanks for letting us know. So I can only push the boat out, really I'll tell you what, what it is today, so I've already moved house this morning. The cold water was okay but two days ago the water cut off altogether, no water, just a big bin that's been put in my bathroom which was full of water. Uh, I weren't really too pleased about that. I put up with a bit, but that was going a little bit too far. So when I spoke to my old landlady two days ago, she told me this place is available from today. So I moved in ASAP, where our young lady does her laundry. Mine will be up here in a minute, because I handed that in. But my trunks that were soaked this morning are almost dry, hanging out on a balcony. And I've got a nice chairs and table there. I'll show you the little room because it is awesome. It is, it is, what it is. I have aircon. I do. Bedroom, little table set up there with all my computer stuff. All on there so I can sit on the side of the bed, do my computer work. I have a brand new fridge, which has already been filled with what was left from the fridge from the other apartment. I also have a fluffer's mirror. I'm gonna fluff myself up. A sink. <laughs> microwave. The electrician has come into Noah to fit another plug socket here to put the microwave and even run the fan into. So I've got hot and cold water. I do have my own kettle and my mug. And I have these just in case, well, they come in handy. A little bathroom, look, proper toilet. And as you can see, one has had a hot shower, a very hot shower this morning. And a shave. Wicked. Just 500 baht a day. Now, monthly rent, sorry, I didn't tell you, monthly rent is 8,000 baht for the month, but you do have water and electric on top. So it could probably go to about 12,000 baht a month. Yeah still isn't bad 200 250 quid to live like the rich in paradise and i brought all my bags i haven't even kind of began to um sort them out phones on charge that's all going that's all doing and i did start to make a little vlog yesterday <laughs> which uh, uh, which was the taxi driver who just, uh, when I'd shown people pictures of it, we all had the agreement, good day, that it fell asleep. And that, I think that was my neighbour. So, I am off for breakfast. I am. So, Go out. <laughs> How are you, buddy? You good? Good. All right, give us a minute. Just across the road is another very cool brand new apartment right here. Now, it used to be one of the um, little guest houses, guest rooms here, but when I was here about two or three months ago I see this all being redesigned, redeveloped, having a kitchen put in and everything all brand new and this is the contact details 
right there. There is a phone number, info camelabeachrooms.com. You can ring up long term for rent for long term, room of a kitchen, and the price for it is between seven and ten thousand baht. So dependent on your negotiation skills. It's wicked. So I don't know how much rooms are here. I wonder if that lady would tell me. I think there are 1,200 here. I'm not sure. Very busy. They are. Okay. Oh man, and it is another day. Another day in the life of this YouTube vlogger. I'll tell you what this vlog is going to be. It's going to be how many headlines can I come up with for today's vlog? Is it going to be how cheap? Is it? Is it, is it going to be uh, the day in the life? Is it, could, is it going to be making veggie spring rolls here every morning? Morning! Morning! morning. <laughs> they're the coolest girls on the beach. And they do, they make those veggie spring rolls every morning. Swatty cap. Are you good darling? Yes. Good. Yes. Everybody good? How are you in there buddy? You good? All right, he's on the Coca-Cola. Good lad. Couple. <laughs> it's my favourite little restaurant in the whole of Thailand. Thailand's a big place, you know. Oh man. And it is hot. It's getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And due to the nationalities that are arriving, because they're just like in deep winter time. Like the English are having our time coming, they're a now. No, like they're all, as you can see, they're all already. Look, they're lining, they, they all line the coconut grove, which you know gets really busy with an afternoon or early, early afternoon, late morning. You usually get a cool people out here in the sea. A oh, lovely little wave. Now, I know you guys, you don't get sick of Campbell Beach, but no, you don't. How could you? It's just. It is just awesome, every day. And there's still, it's really busy out here this morning. And I'm running a bit late. Loads of people in the sea. The sun is a little bit cloudy. There's heaps of people coming from down there. And it doesn't matter, wherever you look on this beach, you'll always find scantily clad ladies. Now, I think I've got friends coming to meet me today, roughly mid, uh, about midday. So it does put the pressure on. I'm making a vlog for today to get that made, edited, and then loaded up for your viewing this evening. So I don't know how that's going to go, but because I live just there, oh man, it is like, it is a massive difference living just there. Because when I'm in the pond, I can just nip back to the apartment and hit that button um all that load up just to just like that or in fact i can actually bring the laptop to the pond and plug in it just makes life oh man it just makes life and when i moved in this morning i've been back here just over a week but the today witness i did do my walking in the sea yes i did oh it was pretty good and uh, I decided, actually, yes, I did this morning. I have decided that I am going to get myself in shape because I have my Arctic experience coming in a few months. <laughs> Phuket, sorry, Kamala has got this. By the way, not sure if it's still closed. When I first got to Phuket about six to eight months ago, this place was actually abandoned, <laughs> having some work done to it, and yours truly managed to sneak in. Yes, and then I got executed. Not executed, evicted. <laughs> but this is the Phuket fantasy. <laughs> still here. The koi have been introduced and so have these little sprinkler systems since the last time I was here. So I'm guessing that they are kind of refurbishing this and it may open again. 
I mean, it's a wicked place, look. It's just all them koi. Wow. Little steps and the cave over there and the waterfalls. <laughs> It is awesome. Now, I know when I was in, was it just outside Chiang Rai, where I went to the coffee garden? <laughs> and I was impressed. Thought about building one of them in Roxham. Well, what about, I mean, this is, this is exactly the same thing. Koi look like I'm gonna feed them. It's exactly the same thing, but on a much bigger scale. It is awesome. They all think I'm gonna feed them. <laughs> Are we wicked to just traipse along there in this fantasy? <laughs> and it's really cool because no one's come and got me yet. Last three or four times I've been in here with a camera, I've actually been ushered out and told I cannot film. So I'm going to be... Look at them, man. The koi, they are awesome. It is awesome. So like always, yeah, a little bit of luck, a little bit of joy. <laughs> that geezer, man. It is an incredible looking structure. The fantasy. And there's two people in here doing a bit of painting, which I think is the entrance to all round there. So I might just see if I can get in. Bike is left on as normal. Terrible, man. And that is all the car park and everything. When I leave here, I'll go and show you what else they've built. Man, it's quite incredible what they've built. Security ahead, it says. It is just an incredible looking thing, look. Right? The stalls, enamel, paint. <laughs> We're pushing it. We always do. The worst thing that can happen is I get evicted. Just while oh, the gates are closed. What a wicked job. Just painting away. Look good. Yes, do good. Wicked. Thank you. Oh, that is good. When 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 does this open? Does it when does it open? When? Today? You know when open? No, 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 no. Closed. No, yes. Ah, okay. Sorry? Tomorrow. Open tomorrow? Yes. Can, can come tomorrow when yeah. open? Today no open. Tomorrow open. The first day opening tomorrow? Because yeah. it's been closed for a long time, right? Today CM open. O uh, over there? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to take a picture. It's okay? <laughs> We're good. I've never got this far before. Ah. Uh -huh. And it is, look, superb, look at that, ah, Phuket Fantasy. And then over there, I don't know if you can see that sculpture all on the wall, it looks brilliant from here. It looks brilliant. <laughs> oh, and there's, there's more workers all down there doing boat trips. Oh, it looks like a boat, but it's a little ped, look. Doubt I might be able to get through there. But it's beautiful, man, look. All these, these are all real, the trees, all on the outside. You can still see great big koi all in here. Security. <laughs> Looking back at that garden. Beautiful man. Kapum. <laughs> Can come in? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't think he's happy I'm here. And these are all neons, look. All this is all neons. Should be spectacular when open tonight. I might even have to come back, it do look really good. Kapung, Kapung Cap. Thank you. Beautiful, enchanting area. Sweetie Cap. <laughs> Someone's got to get told off for allowing them. Because you're not allowed in here, let alone with a camera. I know that because, I, like I said, I've been caught a good few times already. <laughs> this is anything else. <laughs> Gotta keep on a trash and bull, you'll get there. Right, I'm now gonna show you. He's just on a beautiful hot day like that. The sound 
This is the sound, this is the sound of a waterfall. And we love the waterfall. There's no suburbs here, guys, no. <laughs> Phuket is posh. <laughs> Unlike the rest of Thailand. I'll just show you this bit of the tickets because I'll have a little spin around here because then if I do, it's not cheap to get in by the way. So that is your fantasy over there, your fantasy. But since that has been closed, this place has regenerated itself. And I'm, I'm just filling in the gaps here until I think of the new name, what has been given. <laughs> oh man. So the tickets you still get in this ticket offers. Carnival magic. <laughs> no, I did not just remember. I saw a sign out of the corner of my eye. I did, but man, look at the ceiling. Whoa, it is spectacular. It is in this ticket stalls. So there you go. I didn't know what vlog I was going to make today. <laughs> how cheap and how wonderful day in the life. It's just, I guess it is. It's almost like me trying to blag my way into somewhere. And what we got here, right? That little brochures, English, Thai, for fantasy. Oh man. So you can come and get yourself a brochure. And you can imagine how many people come here in the day. Look at the size of the car park and all the minibuses that would work with all the hotels. The train first, the transfer station over there. Wicked looking bus. Parrots. This has all been built in the last six months. Yeah, all this. I've been watching them. There's a little doorway there. <laughs> Might be able to sneak in. Little hatch. Man, you can see, man. No way. That's all been made with expanding foam. Ah, oh, foam on the outside of a frame. Oh, I can't quite. I can see in, but I can't get in. <laughs> So wicked, I'll just show you carnival magic. And when this show, what would you say? When this show is going, it's like the greatest show on earth. It is something special. So what do you care? Can go in? Ah, okay, over here. Oh man, he got a exchange. No exchange, you've withdrawn a tie bar with your union pay card. Oh man, so here's your tickets, self-ticketing, to come in, man they've even got Russian writing, Chinese writing, Russian writing, ah oh, man look at this, carnival, magic, and it is really good that no one's telling me off, walking about with a camera. I don't know how much of this you guys have seen before. The cherry go round. <laughs> I really don't know. But it is quite a spectacular place. And I've not even been in. Just looks absolutely amazing from the outside. Wicked. And they're your stalls. <laughs> and we're... We're going in. I'm sure the security guard pointed me this way. It is dark. It's proper dark. <laughs> oh, man. You're a little bit of light. Oh, mate. It's proper dark. Darkness like never seen before. <laughs> Don't know if it's meant to be scary. Is it scary? What the way it's I can hear music. Oh. <laughs> oh it is. Wicked. It's the way out. Oh man, it's even darker. As we're going deeper and deeper. That's all shut down. Well, that's where the music is, man. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. All right. <laughs> right, let's get me out. Where's my voice? Come on, right, get me out and voice back. Take some doing, you know. You do a falsy with the voice. Go gravelly. So if you've got to do a voiceover for some kind of film, you want to build it up a bit. <laughs> or just, I don't know, but something weird just happened to my head, I think. And the voice went a bit strange. So we're coming out. We are. <laughs> now Shakiri comes up on his feet. <laughs> but where'd that geezer go? I'm coming out. I'm coming out. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, wicked. So that is carnival magic, people. If you've ever wondered what it is all about, you may be able to see some promotional films from the people inside. Because again, there's no cameras allowed on the inside. Um, kapum cap. Have a good day, buddy. Kapum. Cool, man. Well, looks like we've got coach loads. People. No. Oh, they're all come from the Carnival Magic minibuses to get on to the Parrot Bus. <laughs> what a wicked area. What a beautiful mountain, man. Let's say the backdrop to this place. Something special. It's like Hollywood. It's like a studio. It's like a big major film set. <laughs> but it is hot today, guys. It really is hot. Wicked. So I'm now leaving the fantasy carnival magic Wonderland. I mean, that is a wicked, wicked picture of an, a wicked singing of an elephant. Oh, man. A little paint run on there. Well, if you didn't know, Phuket, Kamala, is home to Millionaire's Row, which is all them houses and unbuilt apartments that you see on the left from Kamala Beach. Now, right up there, you can see there's a massive swimming pool. That is Cape Siena, Phuket, which is a gourmet. <laughs> It's what it says. It's what it says. I love the use of words, mate. It's a gourmet hotel and villa. <laughs> right there. Gourmet. <laughs> Do you reckon it's delicious? Don't know. But right opposite, if you fancy, absolute seafront four bedroom villa for full service short term rental. Contact details. There find out how much one of these run down I'll show you how run down they are short term life expectancy on everything on this mountain yeah there is as you can see on the gourmet villa the amount of dark mold that's all creeping through on these blocks not been cleaned worse <laughs> they've got no idea what environment they're built in right you can see all the paint all up in the top two tiers it's all coming away already needs to be proper refurbished but you know what probably weren't done properly in the first place was it no as is short-term life expectancy of millionaires row and i'll tell you why here, for sale. All you need right here through the PhuketProperty.com. Ah, oh, and they've doored it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. They've doored it off so you can't see. I'll show you how poor these apartments are right here. And I won't be making it up, I'll just show you so you can see. Millionaire's Row. Budget corner. <laughs> You see all the paint. It's the start of it, the wear and the tear. But obviously these have been built for a little bit of time. As you can see, just how bad 
these apartments for sale are. Look, all the bubbling. The wall is coming off. The blocks are coming off. The mould is creeping through. And as you can see, it's also full of cracks, which, <laughs> it's more mould everywhere. You look, all down here. And these are total, total re, oh, hang on. Furbishman is an open door to see. <laughs> down there. The drop. <laughs> All the workman's waste. The wall is going to give way to a natural waterfall through here. Which is something loads of these places have not considered. I took a little ride around here two days ago and was quite shocked to see the amount of landslides and all this to do oh man look all the metal rebar is rusting right that's metal is rusting it's not been plastered deep enough because it's rusting it's pushing off all the paint man <laughs> it's terrible and all along here right the road is actually got cracks in it in the asphalt so i know <laughs> A little bit about the power of water or cement. And when that starts moving, look, look at this. Now, this is for sale. It is. But if you arrived and saw all this, would you buy it? It's already telling you there's issues here. When you look next door, it's even more issues as the cracks are starting to show through the walls. And they are, look, big cracks, really big cracks, really big cracks, starting to show through. And what I can see in the sea, <laughs> right, it's a problem with people with a few quid. They don't have the, um, I don't know, it surprised me where they don't have the knowledge of what stuff really is. There's a whole stream of sewage right out there, which looks like a ship has emptied its tanks. So it goes along in, oh man, along, where are you? Long stream, you can see it. All the brown stuff, all floating all the way along of it, where the leaves are. You go down, oh man. Oh, so this is what's underneath. Oh man, man. This is nature, right? So when all this water starts moving, right, it will move the smaller bits of sand, which will then give way. The bigger ones will then move and you will have yourself here. Look, there's water coming out here already. So you're already causing massive water damage to your property. When all this small particle give way, which will form up with the water, become quite powerful, what will happen with all the big old rocks and boulders is they will then shift. And I predict a few more winters, like we've just had in Phuket, <laughs> Millionaire's Row is going to be in the sea. That's what I predict, based on what I've seen over the last few days. Now these steps, like I say, they kind of cemented them in a right bodgy type way for you to almost, well you can almost get down to the sea. Oh man. You can't see it, I can see it all along here. Massive sewage. Which tells me a boat has either dumped their sewage or that's where the pipes have pumped out the sewage from all these rich places and that's where they are. Don't sh on your own doorstep, they say. Well, a bit late for that, isn't it? 
Papa is lovely down here. <laughs> you know, I could do with a bit of a clean up. All these rocks, you can see the cement and the rock, you can see, man, there is problems gonna happen. And when all the tree roots give way, the soil's gone. Oh, man. Oh, wonderful coastline. If it weren't, I'm trying to go out as far there, all the way along. It's this brown, all the way. Keep, keep going. You, 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 oh, man. Go right out. All the way along. That's sewage. Raw sewage floating there on the sea. All that brown foamy stuff. Which is hard to see on this camera, I know. So there you go, guys. There, I didn't know I was going to be coming down here. If it weren't for all the sewage being pumped in, I'd fancy having a little snorkel about there. But that is the thing with the sea. <laughs> the sewage doesn't go out that far, and I don't think it's treated. Oh, man. So that's Millionaire's Row for you. I still don't know what to call this vlog. It's just another day. It's just me getting out and about, making a vlog, showing you more and more of like, well, you know what I mean? You used to say you get what you pay for. That clearly is not true. Clearly, give you some idea, over a thousand pound a night to stay in some of these apartments. I pay just over a tenner a night. I bet I sleep better than what they do. <laughs> And wake up with a spring on my step every single day. Oh man. Now I'm really surprised this door is left open. There's a padlock there. And no one's used it. Well after today's little adventure guys that is. Loads of things need to come up with a title. Now all I really need now, it's far too early <laughs> to go to the pond and have a Leo as much as I'd like to. I will be laying, oh man, off the little Leos, because one, he's going to get himself nice and fit and strong again for future adventures. Oh man, so can you see? You can see it a lot better from up here. Tell you what, I'll show you the shh on the water. No, no. It's that time of day, ladies and gents, that we all look forward to. <laughs> Where I turn into, I don't know, I've had a couple of beers now. I have, I have. It and I start, I start, I can't be. That is how it is. That is how it is. And I'm so I'm in peace. I feel so I told you that stuff don't affect me. Yeah, I know. It does I know. not affect me until I start to speak to this little black box on the end of a stick. And I am having a wonderful happy ended with ah, the Aussie connection. With Nola. No way out wrong way. Swanee. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's the other way, right? Sorry, with Swanee and Nola. Is that right? Yeah, that's Is that right. right. That's that enough. That's yeah. wicked. Wicked. Swanee car, guys. Yes. Yes. Cool. And my two friends from Bristol. How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well. Have well. <laughs> found our way to the pond. You alright, darling? Oh, you certainly are. Wicked. You better watch yourself on TV tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Good, 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 good. Maybe eight o'clock, maybe nine. Tie time. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Brilliant. That's really cool. That's really cool. You all right? Awesome. <laughs> Here's the pond. It's just a happy ending at the pond. It's a wonderful day at the pond. When my buddies turn up, that is really cool. And there are also, that lady's topless. That's outrageous. Now I hope I don't have to edit out the topless lady on the bench. <laughs> topless lady. Topless, topless lady. It's a topless woman. Don't, I don't know where I'm going. There's a topless lady on the beach. 
I cannot. I'll get banned again. So no. <laughs> I cannot film the topless lady on the beach because I will get banned. And we don't want that. No, we don't. So until next time, au revoir.